the 101 bee species in Ireland, only one makes honey, and they haven't escaped the threat of decline. In fact, we are experiencing a phenomenon where one in every three honeybee hives are now dying each year across the globe. Dara, are there such things as wild honeybees, or are they all managed in hives? There pretty much are no wild bees in Ireland or in Europe. Uh, this is a result of uh, diseases that have come into uh, the country from, from, in particular, Asia. And as a result, wild stocks are gone and it's only managed hives you'll find in the country. We've developed a product called Hive Alive. It's a nutritional supplement for bees that really helps the general strength of bees in the colonies. Oh, look. It's jam-packed. This is fascinating. We've just finished a recent stu two-year study where we found that the bees uh, were, came out of the winter twice as strong, and there was twice as many bees came out of the hives that were treated with um, hive alive versus bees that weren't treated hive alive, and they had zero colony losses. So by benefiting or boosting the bees' nutrition, you're protecting them from these diseases. Exactly. Stronger bees, stronger hives. Advanced Science have teamed up with NUI Galway to further research ways to promote honeybee health. And much like humans, it all starts with a healthy gut. There's three main reasons for the decline of honeybees. That's disease, pesticides and nutrition. I'm focusing on the nutrition side of things. Lack of diverse nutrition may decrease the populations of good bacteria found in the gut. So, for example, rapeseed fields, where there's a large area of just one crop, bees aren't getting all their different kind of nutrients. So, usually if you only eat uh, chips for your whole life, you wouldn't get as the right balance of nutrients. I have some samples of bees here, so we can take the gut out of the, of the bee and then do DNA extractions to see what different types of bacteria are found in the gut. Linda is focusing on four different bacteria found in bees and is adding nutrients in an attempt to improve their rate of growth. So if you can get this good bacteria to grow better in the lab, there's a possibility that we can get that good bacteria to grow in the bees or in the hives. Exactly. Beekeepers can then add this uh, ingredients to the sugar syrup to improve the bees' nutrition, increase their populations and help them defend against disease.